That fakes. He rolls. He looks. He right fires. Touchdown! Touchdown, Terrell Owens! His third of the game! Welcome to Old School All-22, brought to you by Golden Nugget Jewelers. Hi, everyone. I'm Merle Reese, along with our outstanding color analyst and former All-Pro wide receiver, Michael Anthony Quick. Mike, the Eagles open the season today against the Washington Redskins, yep. and it's going to be a very exciting atmosphere. Go back to 2004, a game with high expectations, and they opened at home against the New York Giants with some glittering stars, including the recently acquired Terrell Owens. Yeah, I think everybody remembers that whole thing with T.O. coming to town and everybody all excited. Hey, all of Philadelphia and everybody, and for good reason, because he started out this season in that divisional opponent with not one, not two, but three touchdowns against the New York Giants, and it really set the season off to a good start. The Eagles got down 7 nothing early in the game, but on their second possession of the afternoon, Andy Reid's offense got going in a hurry. Brian Westbrook busted off a 50-yard run to start the drive, and two plays later, Donovan McNabb would hit Terrell Owens for his first official touchdown as an Eagle. The Eagles lined up in 21 personnel, with two backs, one tight end, and two wide receivers. Terrell Owens lined up to the far right of the formation and would be running a stutter-go route down the field. The Giants were playing quarters coverage here in the red zone, so the only two defenders that could make a play on this throw would be the safety, Sean Williams, or the cornerback, Will Allen. Run action in the backfield held Williams, preventing him from getting to the sideline in time. Owens hit the double move and, paired with a pump fake from McNabb, got Allen to bite hard on a possible quick throw. T.O. then worked up the sideline and hauled in a 20-yard touchdown pass to tie the game. On the very next drive, a 53-yard pass from McNabb to Todd Pinkston put the Eagles on the Giants' three-yard line. When the Eagles broke huddle, Owens actually lined up in the backfield behind McNabb before motioning late to the right side. This was meant to be a distraction for the New York defense because McNabb really wanted to target Brian Westbrook at the right pylon on this sprint-out pass play. But the Giants covered this perfectly, forcing McNabb to extend the play. As number five scrambled to his right, Owens worked hard to uncover, rolling with his quarterback towards the sideline. Falling out of bounds as he delivered the pass, McNabb found Owens two yards deep in the end zone to put the Eagles up by a touchdown. But the two were not done yet. Midway through the third quarter, up by a score of 23 to 10, the Eagles found themselves back in the red zone on the New York 12-yard line. McNabb took the snap, and right away, this looked to be a counter run play to the left. Owens released off the line of scrimmage and appeared to be blocking the safety on the back side, so the cornerback lets him go. Meanwhile, that safety bites hard on the run action in the backfield, completely taking himself out of the play. McNabb pulls the play fake and rolls to his right. With both LJ Smith and John Ritchie in the flats, cornerback Will Allen is frozen in place. This leaves T.O. with nothing but green grass in the end zone as McNabb hits him for his third and final touchdown of the afternoon. That was the highlight of a great season for T.O. He got hurt, he came back, he played in the Super Bowl, but the next year, it all came crashing down with a very divided locker room and a controversial ending to T.O.'s Eagles career. Yeah, but he gave us many thrills when he was in Philadelphia. And I remember just the training camp and the lines and lines of people that was showing up just because the Eagles had acquired Terrell Owens. He's now gone into the Hall of Fame, and for good reason. I thought he should have been a first ballot Hall of Famer, but he is in. And I will always remember him doing push-ups in his driveway. And that's it for Old School All 22.